Honourable Chair and Distinguished Delegates. As dementia is recognised as a disability under the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, it is vital that the condition, which affects over 40 million people across Europe, is included and integral to the development and implementation of disability inclusive health policies, including accurate data on healthcare access and health outcomes. Often perceived as an invisible disability, a rights-based approach to dementia's specific inclusion in this framework is of the utmost importance, ensuring that disability inclusiveness is inherent across health systems and that universal design is adopted in the built environment. COVID-19 has continued to disproportionately affect people living with dementia alongside persons with disabilities, as exemplified through some of the worst health outcomes, including higher morbidity and mortality. As an example, in the UK, dementia constituted 26% of all COVID-19 deaths and up to 20% in regions of Italy. Many governments are still to publish their COVID-19 and dementia mortality figures. And more concerningly, many are not capturing these data at all. In addition, future pandemic preparedness must prevent non-rights-based issues around access to emergency treatment from happening again for this vulnerable constituency. Alzheimer's Disease International, as the Federation of 105 Alzheimer's and Dementia Associations from around the world, fervently believes that the best health standard for dementia is the WHO Global Action Plan on the Public Health Response to Dementia. And as such, the plan should be listed under Section 28C targets and indicators. With this in mind, we call on Member States and the WHO Secretariat to implement the objectives of the plan, both within this framework and their greater dementia strategies.